Uh, it's a great community and I'm very proud to, to represent it. A lot of people lived here a long time, very involved in the community. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, my job is to be a strong advocate for the needs in my district, as I've done in other parts of my district, and now uh, learning about you know, what Guadalupe needs. And as I've told a number of people that have been in today, the more specific you can be for me as to what the project is, what the cost is, what the issues are, then uh, it helps me to try to find solutions for it. Mm -hmm. What are you hearing so far? Well, um, I've heard about the library. Uh, there are various needs to do with the library. And um, as with all the libraries in the county, none of them have enough money. None of them have enough space. None of them have enough materials. Uh, they've had to uh, cut back hours uh, because of that, which is really un unfortunate. At the same time, um, again, as I have uh, advocated for other libraries in my district, and, uh, and now the uh, Sullivan Library wants to expand. I feel it's my job to be as helpful as I can. And uh, even though times are, are very tough and money is tight, um, I still think it's important to uh, set a goal and, uh, and see what you really want mm -hmm. because you're never going to achieve it if you don't, if you don't have that dream. Mm -hmm. A so. number of different issues from different people came up to do with this building in particular that it needs uh, seismic retrofitting, that it needs uh, some roof work done. Apparently there has been some uh, leaking. And, um, and now the fact that um, there were some issues to do with where the senior center was and, um, <clears throat> and needing some uh, reconstruction there. Mm -hmm. The seniors have moved over here temporarily, which is fine, except that I guess that um, the kitchen here is not um, up to a standard where they might be able to get the permits that they need to do f actual food service here. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of another piece of this building that, uh, that is in need. So again, in all cases, um, I've said, you know, specifically, what is the project? What do you think the estimated cost is um, for some of this? I've encouraged um, Reagan Candelario from the city. He's going to be working with Esther. We're going to uh, put him in contact um, with uh, Sharon Friedrichson. <coughs> who is um, the person that uh, is under Herman Parker, the new um, Housing and Community Services Director. Uh, for the housing part of it, all the, the grant money that comes in from um, the community development block grants and some of these other sources. There's a grant uh, cycle that happens once a year that we are right in the middle of right now. And the deadlines for those are the end of the month. So uh, we're going to be working uh, with the city of Guadalupe, uh, with Reagan, to put him in contact with Ms. Friedrichsen and see if uh, we can't get at least one grant application in mm -hmm. for some of these City of Guadalupe projects.